And my name is Mohamed Taman, and I'm working as the Chief Solutions Architect for a company called Ifortel. It's a telecommunication company. Besides, I'm Java Champion, a Groundbreaker Ambassador. I'm author, trainer, and uh, international speaker. So actually, I used IntelliJ like seven years ago and uh, uh, extensively using it in my uh, production grade applications since past like uh, uh, three years ago. As a Java geeks, uh, we try uh, everything that we would love to try and check its features. And, uh, and uh, this is one of our traits, that checking the features and what's new in the tools. So and I love to see the best environment that I can that can bring for me a pleasure when I'm doing my coding and developing, because this is where uh, it, it's like your home. This is this is you spend a lot of time uh, using your ID. So uh, definitely, I used um, I tried all the IDs out there in the market, and uh, over the time, uh, I was also trying uh, IntelliJ, and. Uh, when I, over the time with the enhancement, with the features you provide and a lot of enhancement and tools, I loved IntelliJ and I start to feel that it's my home. First thing that I will open, I would like always to have this habit, like format my code. So I definitely press Command A to select all the codes and then easily uh, on Mac, you can use option Command L. This is something, it becomes a habit for me. After formatting, I'm free and I feel comfortable to start editing the code. Then definitely when I start working inside the code, there is an amazing just shortcut that it will work based on the context. So uh, I begin to, to, to write the code in my mind so I don't care about the function or method or class or whatever it is or annotation. I just write what I want to write then I have only option enter. It will suggest you based on the context what you need to do next. This is very convenient and very speedy uh, in a way you complete. So I, I think that I can do my design without worrying. If I don't have the class even, I can create it. If I don't have the method inside that class, it would be created. So it's convenient for refactoring, for auto completion, for importing, for a lot of stuff. You have to try it, it's an amazing. The last thing that it not, Last, I say that this is the third option uh, because we are writing inside, we have created, we would like, sometimes there is setters, getters, constructors, some stuff that I would like to create out of the box without writing all of them, or even without using the templates, I can use uh, control enter. Control enter, uh, you will have a context menu and you can choose bunch of re uh, ready-made snippet of code that could be generated even intelligently based on the content of your source code. So this is I almost when I start, I do and the options that I use. A lot of stuff, but let me tell you from perspective that we are Java champion. So we are working with GDK and Java AE and always it's not the old uh, versions. We always strive to use the new versions in order to show the code for the audience, how we are, everything is working. What I found in IntelliJ, it's so quickly adapting the new features of the GDKs or something like this. So this is why I'm subscribed in the IntelliJ uh, beta channel, not even the, the release channel. So be why? Because I would like to try new feature. And I get the confidence really that I feel that I'm using a production release. And now I'm using all the beta versions with, my, with developing of my product uh, products, which is uh, production great products. So I don't feel, I don't remember when I get uh, a crash for the IDE because it's beta and the trial. And it's always work out of the box. You have new feature. Um, amazingly, most beyond that, that the plugins that you have, a lot of bunch of plugins, immediately you have support for the new features uh, that or the new IDE. And even if you don't have, uh, you know, you don't have to stay long in order to have this support. If you have one feature or plugin that does not have support yet, you have another bunch of alternatives that you can choose among. So it's very convenient. This is um, amazingly gave me all the tools that I need even in beta and the new uh, trial for everything new in order to take a better decision 
uh, we can go with this technology or JDK or feature uh, uh, with my team and company or not yet, because I don't have to stay for long. Then catch the market immediately. So the another uh, last thing that I would like, maybe it's not uh, using control space. Using control space is one of my favorite because you know it's we call it IntelliSeen uh, like completion. It it's not acting like this. It's more smarter and intelligent than this. It gives you recommendations based on the context you are writing. So you don't just looking for completing some methods or something. No, it even suggests you which classes that you can inject here. For example, if you're using Spring, a lot of features. I I, I can talk a lot about it. Try it and definitely uh, focus on how it is suggesting for you the options and you will amazingly be happy with it so uh, speaking about the features that i can't live without <laughs> using intellij uh, it's too much but i can just give you one feature pressing shift twice this is amazing feature you can search anywhere in your project. You don't have to go for searching for class and you don't have to say that I would like to search in my uh, work set or different project or if you have multi-module projects, you don't have to, to say is it in testers or in, in source, just shift twice and you will have not only in source code in Git messages or in whatever you like, just to try it and it's really great. You can jump between the source files from any project to any project from Git. You would like to search about messages, you would like to search about uh, classes, uh, normal files, anything. It's out of the box out there. I call, I, I, I named it search anywhere, any place, you will find anything. It's very easy and convenient. Just shift twice. Okay, uh, this question actually, uh, I like it and uh, I may answer it in a different way because there are many features to try uh, using IntelliJ and I can't feel there is a feature that is not relevant. But having said that, uh, I feel that IntelliJ just like Swiss knife, you know. So there is a tool uh, that relevant to, to everyone case. So in my case, if it's not applicable to me, it's totally different, totally uh, uh, relevant to someone else. So this is why I cannot say it's not relevant and we can remove it. And because it's helpful for someone else. And as I told you, because it's just very huge IDE cover all the cases, but it doesn't mean that I didn't use some features. It's not relevant and uh, uh, we, we need to remove it. This is how I, I see IntelliJ. And because you can use it for front-end development, you can use it for database heavily as development. Even we have separate products for that. But if you are using ultimate version, you have everything in one uh, platform and environment. Because I'm working as a even full stack. So even in the same project, this is amazing. In the same project, I have configuration and uh, uh, for, for my front-end TypeScript uh, project, which is Angular-based, and I have Java. So just you switching the module, the IDE is intelligent enough to catch all these kind of configuration and give you to you from tab counts, from IntelliSeam, from everything, as if you are working in, in, inside a JavaScript editor only. Then you just, you don't have to open. You just switch, select Java and start work on the source code. It totally magically convert to be Java oriented configuration and everything. So you don't have to have mistakes. You know, it's, it's an amazing out of the box. So I can't say if I don't do full stack, I will miss this feature, but maybe I will not use it, but it's, I can't say it's not relevant because if I start to explore more, I will find the tools that will support me for my exploration. very helpful and important uh, I, for me I, I i'm using some daily uh, features like uh, it's not just features it could be subset or toolkit so i'm using definitely uh, uh, 
uh, what I can say, the panels, you know that we have a lot of panels to manage uh, uh, your ID from check style, for example. I'm using the services panel to manage all the startup and uh, uh, stopping and managing all my, my relevant uh, projects, like if I'm working with Spring, with Java EE, and uh, using the same time my Angular JS, and I'm doing Kubernetes and deploying on Kubernetes, and I, I do cries my application. So you don't have to context switching. So services panel provide for you all of this, even if you have different profile for the same application, you will have it. Test cases, you know everything. This is one of the the features that I love because it's everywhere. Definitely for managing test cases, you have the test case runner. Uh, uh, lovely panel, uh, the Git toolkit. It's amazingly doing a, a, a lot of features for you, but just with a few clicks, you can manage your uh, your comments, your uh, branches. Even if you are working with uh, uh, with uh, uh, Git workflow, you know these features are out of the box supported by by IntelliJ. Despite the shortcuts that I, I have mentioned before and everything, so uh, Maven, Maven uh, panel and commit and database, because this is a full stack, you know, uh, 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 navigation for the code. I would like to check the database. I have all the beans. I have the configurations. I would like to to do the commit. I would like to check style my code. I would like also to run Sonar Cube or something like there's Sonar Lent. All of this integrated. So this is the most features that. I usually use behind. Mm, there is a bunch of other features that I like. Intelligently, it's it's supported by by IntelliJ out of the box when I'm working with my source code. The most used features uh, in IntelliJ uh, anything related to to Java. This is how I can some because the uh, providing a support for for heavily for, for Java because it's Java IDE. But uh, when I start even to switch to uh, the front end engineering, as I mentioned, there is a lot of support. The most used feature is the shortcuts. Shortcuts because when you write code, you need to be speedy enough to focus on the business, not just worry about how you, can, you could complete your work. And uh, there is a great feature I just even recently uh, discovered when you combine like Kodota, or a tab nine. This is a, a, a machine learning tools that try to study your way of writing the code. And then after like three, four days, you will find it's already know what you need to complete. So they offered a complete statement beside also the IntelliScene provided by IntelliJ. So you don't know how much code I have finished in, in very short time when I have these, co uh, these tools combined together. Beside, you know, the shortcut for refactoring. For refactoring, I, I, I work with refactoring so much you doing TDD. There is a lot of features when you use refactoring that make it very easy to refactor your code. Just you choose the option, relevant naming, and everything's out of the box is ready for you. You don't have even to go to visit to correct or something like this. So it's an amazingly really cover a lot of stuff. But the most important from the code editor is to help you to be productive. This is the most important point. But I, in, my, in, my, in my opinion, IntelliJ provides for me a very convenient set of shortcuts that I can do a lot of stuff uh, out of the box and save my time to focus on my business or proof of concept that I'm doing as an architect for my company or even integration with to, to have a DevOps uh, environment or, you know, code quality environment or all of this, yes. IntelliJ, yes, as I feel it's my home, definitely, why? Because it makes me focus on the productivity. So definitely and absolutely, it makes me very happy and a productive person. And this is how I influence and in when I work with, with, uh, with other ID and even if I join a company, I don't find any problem because I, I get convenient to work with IntelliJ and my team. For example, in the last company I working for Eiffel, we are using Eclipse. Eclipse is a great and a great idea and everything, but you know when you use to something and you are confident enough that you can jump into anything and you can do it quickly. This is the most important. Like quickly, this is why we have to to stick with one that's relevant to us. 
So yes, I open just because IntelliJ offer for me that it can import all that source code even defined by the settings of IntelliJ or if it's Maven or Gradle based, it will be supported. If it's Angular, all the standards are already included. So easily I can import the project even without affecting the other project settings because you can add in your ignore file, your settings like uh, .idea and this kind of stuff and you just push the code. No one knows that you have used IntelliJ or this or this. But people get amazed when they see the, the themes, they see the organization that I'm developing a lot of stuff and things and how I just switch between things inside it. So it's very productive. So they, they start to ask, can we use it? Can we use it in community edition? Yes, there is differences. If there is a need for enterprise grade, we can buy it and we can use it definitely because I have the ultimate version and it's include a bunch of bunch of bunch of things that you cannot imagine without exploration. I can quickly report any bug or feature that I would like to have to the tracking system, amazing tracking system that you have. And also, if it's not, if I would like to talk to someone, there is a quick response you can get from the team of uh, the support team. And they are happy to listen to you and hear your opinion. And they will act uponly quickly. This is something that I can, I, I can found like it's an amazing because it's engaging. So they give you uh, like a care and you know that there is someone in your back that will support you usually because I submit a lot of things that I found inside the IDE or features thing to the bug tracking system. And also sometimes if I would like to have something or discuss or even uh, asking about something that I don't know, they just answer quickly. Even on Twitter, the people working with IntelliJ like uh, Malagopta or Tagir or Trishegi or the amazing people behind this uh, advocacy. So they will answer you quickly. So yes. That's amazing community as well.